In today's video, can we go against the tide in a very tough situation with the Illyrians now deciding that it's time to attack us? Can we beat them back and also hold back the hordes of the Del Mate whilst also keeping our alliances with the few allies we have left? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our RDAI campaign in RTR Imperium so Rectum. And yeah, last time we had an interesting episode, didn't we? We cleaned up the Del Mate from this region, but the Illyrians have attacked us. They betrayed us. We were allied with them at the time and then they have come and attacked us. Not very happy with that one, I'm not going to lie, but... I think we can clean them up relatively well. It's going to be a little bit annoying to get out to here, for example. So we may have to use a little bit of shenanigans, depending on uh, what we've got available in our garrisons, for example. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a tough situation now. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm just hoping, beyond hope, <laughs> that the Liberni keep their alliance, and so do the Illyrian Kingdom. But... As we get slightly weaker, um, then, yeah, they are going to seize opportunities that present themselves to them. So, uh, for now, let's, though, end the turn. We are retraining our army down here. We've also got these guys. And I'm genuinely considering putting one of these Spearman units in Skodra as a garrison just to dissuade these three units from attacking. I don't think they will attack if we have... An extra garrison unit. I think they'll think they're too weak, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know whether we can waste a unit just sitting there doing nothing, spending money uh, for such a long time. Um, so yeah, we shall see though, guys. We shall see. Let's end the turn and let's see what happens. Well, guys, we have a candidate for adoption. He is 27, but he looks quite good. We just need as many generals as possible right now. So let's uh, get him in here and he actually goes into Issa which is actually quite good for us I'm going to bring the boats across and move him let's have a look at these settlements which ones are rich and which are not not many of them are that rich so we're probably just going to put him in Pharos or Korkira Melania but yeah let's get him in Pharos that looks like the better option for us you can go in there we'll also dive this guy off and jump him across there. He's going to act as a garrison troop when we get chance to take some more settlements over that region. Now, Ryzon, we have got all of our guys together now. So, let's get out of Ryzon. Hmm, I was hoping that we could go for that unit. You can see the Illyrians have uh, seized down both of these settlements. So, that's not ideal, I've got to say. It's quite annoying. So... I was going to go for them, but we don't have the movement points right now. So, I'm going to go for Pluropolis. And we're also going to bring these guys. We're also going to bring you as well. And I'm going to put this 14 men as a garrison in Enderon. A really small garrison, of course, but a garrison nonetheless. Also going to pop you into there. I am going to waste that unit for now. I know it's not ideal, but... Um, it's something that we can afford to do at the moment. Like, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. We are training there. Let's also see if we can get another hoplite. And we do have two garrison units. So we've got them in there. We've also got another one there if we take any of these settlements. So how far can you actually get? Well, what I'll do is I'll put you in Delmium for now. That also might dissuade the Delmate, but probably won't. You never know, though. And then... We also have this unit that can join up with the army too. So stick them across there. And I think we're all good really. Let's have a look. Right then. Well, we are training the units we want to train. So let's then do some building. We've not done that much building recently because we've been so focused on the fighting. Enderon, not really worth building anything there. Got to look for places where buildings are actually worth something. So like Trigurion here, for example... It is going to be good to get some extra population growth. It's already on 3%, which is very good. But let's go for the tavern there. Um, let's also have another look around. Faros, again, another one that's going to be good for us. Thinking we get the market there. 2% growth is not too bad at all. 
And then what about some of these down here? So Tovia doesn't even have normal farms. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's get that. That's definitely going to be helpful. And then in Rider, let's go for the tavern as well. The tavern is actually a fantastic building, guys. Extra population growth and happiness too. I wonder up here, do we have corruption? We do have corruption. Interesting. Not much. But a little bit of corruption nonetheless. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's watch the Del Mate attack us. These are only single units here. So I really don't think there's much there. Let's have a look at them. Let's see what it is. It's literally just a slinger. They're not going to beat the general, I don't think. But what is our slinger going to have to face? Ah. <laughs> Noble cavalry, well, that's good for us because that means they can't can't uh, build a ram or at least get a ram to the walls unless this army joins them. But let's take Pluri Pluriopolis off them, Nerona and Daosun. That's going to help us out in this region as well, getting through. And then I think we're going to go for the um, Altariati settlement afterwards. I don't want to take this one. I don't want to border another border with the Dardanians for now. So we might take the Autoriati one and then finally finish off the Labeateans and then rush back across to fight the Del Mate. That's the plan anyway. Whether it works or not, I have no idea. It probably, probably won't, but uh, <laughs> we'll probably get distracted by something or have to be distracted by something. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see what happens. Well, that is interesting. The uh, Del Mate want to become a protectorate. I'm not too bothered about that. Apparently, it's very demanding when I offer that. But I would have a ceasefire. And I give you trade rights. How about I give you a payment of a 1,000 as well? Because I do really want a ceasefire, but Surely. apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently, they want to die. Well, we'll, uh, we'll oblige that, shall we? Oh, dear, dear me. The Illyrian Kingdom. Like I said, yeah, but we can do the Protectorate Ultimatum. Which is basically, you have to uh, keep being a protector of us. So, we're going to do that. We're going to keep doing that until they um, nullify it properly. Um, and they won't accept that. Because there will be a point when they won't accept it anymore. But for now, we'll keep doing that until we can, uh, you know, until we have to go to war with them at some point. Well, we are now under siege pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, AI. So, we're being under siege at Glinditinopolis. We're also under siege Narensopolis and Arduba like we were last turn. But we've also been sieged down at Nestos by a relatively large army. And the Del Mate have sieged us down too. So now let's uh, let's just auto-resolve that. 42. Don't mind that at all. Let's enslave. Huh. Now what I was thinking of doing is sieging down these simultaneously. And by doing that, they will no longer want to siege down Nestos. And then going after the Del Mate before pivoting up and taking this land here. I think that is the best option, honestly. It's it's a little bit more of a... Um, uh, it's not a risky option, but it's a little bit more of a um, uh, slower option than just going and fighting these guys in the field. And we will fight them. But I think confusing them and stopping them sieging us down while we can take these. Because if we use all of our movement points... As you can see, we do have a lot of movement points. But if we use all of our movement points fighting these guys, there's a good chance we cannot get back to these to um, siege them down. So I think the better option is to take the land while we have access to it now. So let's go for Daoarson. Also, all of our um, all of our garrisons are in here as well, which is just a little bit annoying. But um, we do now have more troops. So... Let's see, we're getting a 304 Roy, a Hoplite. Let's get another sort of uh, Javelinman, just for some more garrisons, and then we'll get some more Acontisti. So we'll get Pluratos there. Gonna send you two with Pluratos up here. What I want to do is have the stronger army on this side, so we can go this way and this way and not waste any movement points at the moment. So let's go with that. That should be pretty darn good. And then we'll have... Yeah, I mean, one of those units is not good at all. So let's just leave the Noble Spearman in there as the garrison for now. Because we don't want to be sieged down here and have it taken straight away. Um, let's repair the walls. What do they have? they got a Temple of Dionysus. That's fine. I'll accept that for now. We'll change that around 
when we get to Miner City. Let's also build some farming in there while we've got access to it. So I think that's good. And let's just bolster the forces with one of these guys in each army. There we go. Perfect. We've also got you, so you can go there. And yeah, that's pretty good. They're going to siege us down here. Oh, and I forgot. The Lebeoteans have sieged us down at Meteon. I'm honestly not too worried about that. I don't think that's going to be a problem. If they take Meteon, that's fine. I think this <laughs> is, is more of an issue, shall we say. <laughs> Definitely more of an issue. Look how many settlements are under siege. That is ridiculous. Let's uh, first have a look at this, though. And let's get rid of all of these uh, settlement besieged messages. <laughs> Uh, we've got marriage celebrations. I did try and get a ceasefire with the Illyrians at the end of last turn before we pressed end turn. But uh, yeah, they, they obviously didn't, didn't accept that. They're, they weren't happy about that at all. We do now have the mines in Delmium, though. That is awesome. We will probably save up then to get the big gold mines and make Delmium an absolute powerhouse in terms of its, um, its money that it generates. Now, I'm, it's it's only it's not growing, though. That's the only problem, because we want to get it up to a larger city as soon as possible to just really capitalize on it and start expanding the money. Not much corruption here, so we don't need to worry about that too much. But yeah, I think we'll save the rest of our money, uh, unless we want to get another Prodromoy, potentially. But no, I'm not really bothered by that. So let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see what happens. Well, okay, one of the... Uh one of the armies has come round and attacked us, thinking that they're better than this. Are they dumb? But well, this is our opportunity to actually take the city, which will be amazing. So let's get into this. We're obviously just going to defend and see what they do, but it should be really easy. So um, hopefully they don't withdraw, though. Let's see. Victory. Yes. Glorious! Well, I think their army... I was thinking their army would come from the back right, so that's why we've set up on the left, but apparently no. They are coming from all the way over here. It's going to take them forever to get here, so we're just going to wait it out and see what happens. Apparently their noble cavalry is going to come and engage us straight away, which is a bit weird because I feel like that's going to make these guys withdraw, but hmm, let's see what they do anyway. Well, apparently they're just going to stand there, enjoying themselves, so... Okay, nope, they're going for the charge now. Uh, I don't know, I, th I think they're a bit confused, aren't they? But, uh, problem is, I feel like if we take them out, the other guys are going to withdraw, which is, of course, bad for us. So, yeah, I don't know. We do have a general's bodyguard here, though, that it's pretty much is Illyrian noble cavalry, so we've got to be careful here. They can still do a lot of damage to us. So let's turn your fire at will off and we'll engage them actually um, and see whether we can uh, we can kill enough of them. There we go. Glorious. Let's kill those. And yeah, let's uh, chase them down with the light cavalry. And hopefully this other army doesn't withdraw now, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Well, as you can see, guys, we've got a perfect spot now to face the enemy. They are coming, and they're not withdrawing, so I think we are going to fully destroy these boys. All three units, they're all marching together for some reason, but uh, that's fine. I don't know what they're doing now. Why did you stop? Maybe they're going to withdraw after all. No, nope, nope, they just wanted to war cry, I think. Taunt us a little bit, but look at our nice defensive position. What are, what are they going to do in the end? Not much really, are they? Not much really compared to our troops. So, um, yeah, there we go. We've also got our general hidden in the trees there to maybe spark a little uh, cheeky... Uh, there we go. Cheeky ambush on them. But uh, apparently they're quite good in terms of their... Go, 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 guys. Go, go, go. Let's get the hoplites round. 
Let's also get the Axemen too. And we're going to bring these guys round as well. But I don't think this is going to be much of an issue for us. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I want you to en envelop them. Envelop them. And then we're going to get our Axemen down here. Hopefully firing into their back and charging them. I don't think this is going to take long. Let's get our general out here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look at them. They're already shaken. They're already shaken. Not stirred, my friends. Not stirred. But this is going to be a nice little encirclement here. Let's rally quickly so the general doesn't die. But there we go. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Broken. They're all broken. <laughs> Yep, there was nothing else for them to do there really, was there? Let's get out with these boys. And we'll have three cavalry units to chase down three units. I think that's going to be perfect. There we go. Glorious victory, my friends. Well, that is truly a glorious victory. And that has given us the settlement without a siege battle. So that is also fantastically glorious. Because we lose a lot more troops in the siege battle. Especially against those three infantry units. So a very, very good result in the end. Well, there we go. Let's enslave here as well. Well, the Labeate also want to be a protectorate, but us to give them loads of stuff. Let's just see if they would like a ceasefire. But no, very demanding. Great. Well, another turn comes by and we are in a much better position than we were before. Let's get rid of that Temple of Dionysos right now. Let's also get these units... We're going to leave this undefended for now. And we're going to get these units in here. We're going to assault Nerona. I'm going to auto resolve it. 90 men. That should be nice and fine for us. And then we're going to go and attack Delmium. Or the army at Delmium. Let's auto sort those boys too. I may just leave behind those javelin men in here. In case we can't get a unit to douse on. In case it's too... They don't have enough movement points. But I think they will do, but uh, I guess we'll see. So let's go and attack them there. Oh, apparently we, we can't move. That's not good for us. That is that is a lot worse for us. I maybe should have moved the uh, those guys first. Let's just swap into there, that one. Because we are getting a slave javelin man there. So let's also get another Akontistai. And we've got an absolute ton of money now, which is really nice. Butthole has expanded. Good. Words that you probably didn't think you'd ever hear on this channel. Um, not my fault. That's what the settlement's called, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. But anyway, let's... Ooh, we can get a gold mining complex at Ryzon. Well, I think we've got to take that while we have the cash, don't we? Absolutely. And we also now get access to Thurio Foroy, which is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, let's also get some growth going here. So let's get the tavern in Epidauros. And then, yeah, I don't think we've got much else that we can offer in terms of buildings. So there we go. Good. Well, we are in a position now to beat back the Del Mate. And then what I think we'll do is we'll come round, take this settlement, Autariartai Polis. Or Autariartai Polis. There we go. And then we'll go on to the Lebeatean um, settlement of Perustai Polis. Yes, words, um, and see what they do elsewhere. I really don't want to get bogged down by coming up here. It's going to border us with the Scordisci more, and also, although it is a good border because up here is just rebel land, but I would prefer to be dealing with the Delmati and just get rid of them once and for all. So let's find out what we want to do by ending the turn here, guys. Well, the Labeateans have decided to attack the settlement. I think we'll just auto-resolve that um, and just let them have it. Like I say, I'm not too bothered about this as long as they don't take Rise on, so that's fine. Okay, well, the score Disky are looking like they want to attack us. So for now, I am going to accept this. Oh, I know it's a bit weak, but we just can't afford to get into any problems with them. What if I gave them military access? Like, literally, they just don't want an alliance. Like, no one wants an alliance with us anymore, apart from Rome and the Liberni, apparently. So, yeah, not good for us. Well, then, that big army has come and sieged down Glindin Glind Glinditinopolis. How many turns left until that has to go? Three turns. Well, that's fine. Not too bothered about that for now. This is getting a little bit wild, isn't it, my friends? This is getting a little bit wild. Literally every single nation around us wants to attack us. Like, 
Classic Rome Total War. I do wish, like, this is the one and only thing that I, I don't like about this game. It's not the mod, just the game in general. The fact that if you border someone, it just basically means you have to go to war. Or, or they will go to war with you at some point. Like, they, like, alliances just mean nothing in this game. Like, it's just pointless. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for now, that's fine. Let's go and kill that Delmium army. Um, and we have had some nice little buildings done, too. So, let's swap you into there. And let's get the Hoplite on the way to join back up with the army. Let's pop them in Daos on for now. I just need to remember that they exist. That's going to be the main thing. Then we also have these guys as garrison troops. I want to move them along to Daoson 2 because I think we're going to go for this settlement because that's going to stop them attacking down here in some of our heartland. And then let's go and deal with the Labeate quickly if we can. But first things first, let's destroy this army. It's absolutely damaged to hell. They do have two generals, but this should be nice and easy, my friends. Let's go. Well, it's very forested in here, so I am very wary about entering the forest into their land, you know, into their ground. So, we're going to come around this way, really, and just watch out for ambushes, but um, let's see. Well, here we go, guys. We are ready to engage them. We are slightly in the forest, but that's fine. We've got our axemen out in the open. We've also got a lot of cavalry, and they also have quite a bit of cavalry, so we're going to keep our cavalry together for now, we're going to go and engage those Dalmatian footmen. Going to get you to try and engage the slingers as well. And the rest of the units, we're not going to wait around because, as we've seen, guys, it's pretty insane with the amount of javelins that get thrown. So I'd rather just engage everyone that we can as of now. There goes their general. Looks like they are going to engage us here with their cavalry, their Illyrian Light Axe cavalry. And we're going to try and flank them with these boys. We're also going to bring all our cavalry forward too. So come on, Cav, let's go. Come on, Cav, let's go. Because they, they really don't have much infantry-wise. Like, what is this? Like, it's tiny, tiny units. This is the biggest one they, they have, and it's just a levy unit. So, again, it's not going to be too much of a worry here. These guys are here now. There we go. I would like you to carry on down this way. You guys, maybe down into the Slave Slingers. Cavalry-wise, let's keep coming. I want to destroy this army whole cloth, so I don't want to have to worry about them in future. So let's get all the way down here. Yeah, it's just going to be a route now, isn't it, my friends? It's just going to be a route. Let's get our cavalry in behind them, and we are pretty much just going to charge through all of this. All of it, I'm assuming. Let's go straight into the Illyrian Axe Cavalry. Oh, they do have a... Some Northern Illyrian cavalry that was hiding. Fair play. I I gotta respect that, you know. I've gotta respect that. We've gotta try and kill the general. That's the problem. I don't even know where the general is. Where are you, general? <laughs> there we go. He got absolutely destroyed by the Japanese. <laughs> nice. Well, you guys get behind these uh, Southern Illyrian uh, guys and we're gonna go. So who else do we have here? Let's go and chase down some of these guys because we want to, of course, destroy this whole army. There we go. It's just an absolute horde route now. Horde route. Uh, what do we have here? We've got Northern Illyrian Cavalry. Let's get a couple of you guys up there to deal with them. They've got some more cavalry units, but again, it's not really going to be much to worry about. Where is that other general? That's what I'm confused by. Or is this their other general? Oh, Varro. Go on, Varro. Yes, get Varro in the action, my friends. Get Varro in the action. Our, our Axemen are good, but they are so susceptible to charges or anything like that. But let's ch chase them down if we can. Don't think we're going to be able to catch anyone else. We're right next to the edge of the battlefield. But um, we can do uh, what we can do and try and capture as many people as possible. Well, there we go, guys. They do have 61 men left. They killed 164. We killed 400. So, a decent result. Though, I don't think we killed that second general. So, I think they're still going to be alive. But they shouldn't be any threat to us going forward. Let's go. And, as expected, they ran a long way away. So, now we have Passantio over here to deal with. I think we will deal with them. Um, get rid of them. And then go to Glinditonopolis. So, yeah, let's go for him. Do we want any more of these troops? We might as well stick them in the army while we can. 
um, and auto sort. And um, we've got a full stack now, guys, although half of them are garrison troops, but that's fine. I wonder whether we can afford to build anything in Delmium now. Yes, we can. Let's go for that gold mining complex. This guy must be quite good, actually. He's got three management, but he looks like he reduces, yeah, reduces construction. That is fantastic. Not great for taxes, but yeah, no, he is a good guy because I think they start at 12,000, right? Or am I wrong? Hmm. Let me just have a look at his traits. Um, he is kind, optimistic, rationing. Why is he rationing? He's in a settlement. <laughs> um, wife above reproach, lovely wife, noble family. So he has a lovely family, apparently. Dedicated herdsman, draftsman. Okay, yeah, that's that 10% discount. So that is good. That is really good. Let's also have a look at Pluratos over here now. He is a living legend, a colossus of leadership destined to be enshrined in the annals of history. Like the heroes of old, he towers above mortal men, embodying the epitome, uh, epito epitome, ep epitome of leadership in all its grandeur. Yes, he is an absolute beast. Seasoned commander, that is a fantastic trait for him to have. Experienced raider, pillager, good attacker, superstitious. Unless the heavens are right and the signs propitious, this man will do little of significance. <laughs> he is religious and pious, so that makes sense. He is a love. He love of the. He loves the gods. Mighty war chief. He's a bit of a dr uh, drunkard, though. He likes drinking with his troops. Fully mature, devoted, selfish and optimistic. Esteemed herd owner. That is good. Famous general as well. Heartless ruler. Lord of Men. Okay, this is interesting. An immense, an immense legion of fervent supporters stands united behind this leader who now enjoys overwhelming backing from the highest echelons of society. His legendary status commands reverence and loyalty, shaping him into a figurehead of unparalleled leadership with keen insight into every potential all potential threats wow that is a fantastic one superior commander untruthful though gatekeeper uh bloody judgmental yeah he is just fantastic really isn't he let's just check our other guy who is 30 so how long old is pluratus 42 well he's still going to be around for a lot longer than as long as i don't do anything stupid with him he's a superior miner he's got 10 management who you know what how good would it be to have him in Delmium? So let me just see. So four, let's just check. So 4,179. If we take him out, 3,000. He gives an extra thousand gold. Well, I think you're going to have to be there. And then we'll just pop this guy in the army as our second cavalry commander for now. That's fine. Oh, come on. Really? Ah, well, that's a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Anything else we want to build? Probably down here would be more likely. Yeah, let's build that that in there. I'm not too bothered about keeping like keeping these. Hmm. Yeah, let's cancel that and repair everything in this one first. But have we got any damage in Delmium 2? No. I will keep the uh, the military buildings in here because Ryzon is only there. So if we can make this little area our like recruitment hub, we will have Greek towns. And Illyrian towns in here. So that is going to be very good for us. A nice mix. And then we'll also have another small recruitment hub around this region too. Kind of like uh, an area where we can build a full stack there quickly. And a full stack there quickly. So we need to plan that for future, of course. So let's end the turn though, guys. And let's see what is going to happen this turn. Are we going to get it besieged in about a million places? Probably. <laughs> And the Iapodes have been destroyed. Now, that's good and bad for us. It means there's less people we have to deal with over here. But it also means that the Liberni are probably going to turn their attention elsewhere. <laughs> um, so, yeah, good and bad for us. I'm wondering how long that has. Two more turns. Hmm. Hmm. It's going to be tight, but we will attack Pasantio first. Let's also have a look at everything else that's going on. Yeah, Bar Baleos the RDA on Fond of Dalmatian Ribald Rhymes. Nice. And we actually got a lot of buildings then. Lorenza Polis upgraded. That's glorious. So, yes, fantastic. Do we start building a second army? That is the question right now. And I think uh, if we do, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult to 
Uh, yeah, it's going to be really difficult to um, to keep tabs on it and keep our income going if we do. But I think we have to, really. I think we've got to that point where we have to. Ooh, why do we not get access to the Assyans? Oh, we need to get to level 2, don't we? So let's build that now. And I want to get to level 2 here as well. Um, yeah, let's build that. And then we're going to get access to the Assyan uh, Epibarti, which are a fantastic slinging unit, especially against the, like, no armor of the, um, of the Illyrians, especially the northern Illyrians. So, yeah, let's do that. And then do we want to recruit anything down here that's of use? Not really. We'll leave that be for now. So, there we go. Let's attack this guy first. And it's probably going to be on a hill, so it's going to be a little bit annoying. They do have some Autoriati Swordsmen, which are quite a nice unit. And plus the Autoriati Nobles, they will be allowed to recruit these AOR, I believe, in the Autoriati Polis. So we might actually want to do that, because these Noble Spearmen are quite good and quite easy to get access to, only being level 3, won't they, Recruitment Hub? rather than having to get to Large City and Level 4. So that will be a good option for us. But let's get into the battle, guys. We're going to just charge them like we did last time. And hopefully we can destroy them really easily with our Cavalry Horde once again. And there they are, right in front of us. I thought they would be on the hill, as expected. So let's keep coming down their hill. Um... Don't think we really need to worry about them too much. I think we're going to be fine. So let's get going. And I think we'll just leave our leave our missile troops behind our main lines. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to be long enough for them to really skirmish too much. In fact, no, no just, just calm down, guys. Calm down. We are getting charged by their general. So let's just get our guys forward. Looks like their general wants to party. Let's go with him. Let's get the Greek hoplites in there. They're going to be a lot better at dealing with the enemy here. There we go. Good. Let's get going down the hill then. Let's get you guys coming down the hill as well. And our horde of cavalry. Let's get them over here. Let's get our generals over that way while his general is distracted. <gasps> He's getting absolutely ruined by the guys there. Let's get into the Autoriati swordsman. In fact, I just want to pause it. These... We actually haven't seen these guys before. So what are they like? Okay, they're not amazing. Actually, they're awful, yeah. Not a good light infantry unit. But the Noble Spearmen, where are they? Oh, here they are. Here they are, looking good. They are very good. Look at that, 42 defense. So yeah, we really do want to get access to those when we can. There we go. General is dead now. Good. Good, 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 good. It's just chaos now. It's chaos. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's uh, let's get into the fight here. Let's bring these guys like this. So, they'll fire down onto the enemy. And let's just get our horde of cavalry around to cut anyone off who's routing. And potentially deal with their southern Illyrian uh, spearmen. You guys get in there. Uh, so, southern Illyrian cavalry, should I say. <laughs> Right, you guys can go and clean up all of these boys. We're going to try and get access to them. I think we'll catch them, actually. Good. Good. Nice one, guys. Nice one. Very good, indeed. And these guys can just basically run through all of these slingers, etc. And just get rid of them. Because, oh my god, the infantry has just collapsed. <laughs> that is what we like to see, my friends. Mass routes going on everywhere. Very nice, indeed. You guys... Yes, glorious. Let's go and chase down the rest of them. Well, look at that. 10 to 1, my friends. 10 to 1. Very nice indeed. We are just tending to rout these guys really quickly when we surround them. So, glorious victory once again for the RDAI. So, now we have a decision to make. Do we go for Autoriati Polis or do we go for this army? They haven't got rams yet. This one's only two turns. So, I think we go for the settlement first. That might actually back them off from Hedham. I don't think it will, but it might do because I think this is Skordisky land, right? So, yeah. Also, yeah, do we have silver mines here? Or can we build silver mines here? No. So I wonder what that's part of. Is that part of our Duba? Because Do we have... Yeah, we do have mines there. Okay, that makes sense. Let's get through there. Apparently the fastest way to go is this way. We're going to go take it relatively slowly. 
And we've got a captain trying to ambush. Let's just auto-resolve that. And then let's make sure that we can actually siege this down. There we go. Rather than wasting another turn with our armies not able to properly siege it down. There we go. Good, 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 good. Very good indeed. I am enjoying the progress we are making. And it does seem by having that extra unit in the settlement down here, it has stopped them from attacking us, which is very, very good indeed. Hmm... Like, I do want to take these areas, but it just seems like an, a useless detour for us, honestly, at this moment in time. But if the Liberni don't attack us, we might, we'll come through here, and we might get up there. I haven't moved my spy in ages. So, he is watching over here. Let's bring him round this way. So, we've got that settlement there. They've actually got a few settlements over here. The Skordiski have this. So, yeah, I do want another spy, though. I wonder where we can get another spy, or another few spies, honestly. We can't get one there. There. How about one of these larger towns? Yeah, let's get a spy there. Can't get one from there. Where else could we get a spy? Please tell me we can get one from somewhere else there. Anywhere else? I want, like, a few spies just to see what's going on everywhere, really. Not bothered about more diplomats. But, yeah, that seems like it. Apart from maybe here? No. I mean, Issa we can, so let's get them. We'll get him on the boat. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's go keep going against the Illyrians. And maybe we can come and take this land. I'm interested to see where this settlement is. I can't quite remember. I think it's about there. But these are, like, quite small settlements. They've got, like, quite a lot up here. And this is not the most fertile land but relatively fertile. Suggestica 2 from my Liberni campaign can become very rich because of the amber around here, but we will have to deal with the factions in this region first before we worry about taking the rebel territory up here along the amber road. So let's end the turn and let's see what the Illyrians decide to do. Well, the Lebeateans have finally marched onward a little bit. I find it, I find it hard to think that they're going to survive this. Oh, they do have noble spearmen, though. That does change things slightly. Hmm. I feel like we can still beat them, though, if we really want to. So, yeah. First of all, though, let's take this land. We might as well... Uh, we're going to have to come back for that unit, aren't we? For that settlement. Uh, it's annoying because the Lebeateans are right there, and I do want to just take them out. But maybe we don't need a huge amount of, of troops to do so. If we keep on recruiting here, Epidauros got that as well. So let's get the market in there. Let's also have a look at the spies we've now got. So we've got you. You can come and have a look up here. Okay, so those are the two settlements there. It looks like the score this have taken this land. It's not a problem. We've also taken that. You can stay up here. That's probably a good viewpoint there. Let's get Kletos. Where are you? So, Kletos, you're all the way down this way. So, what I'm thinking is, if we come and just stick on here and just see what's going on with the Illyrian Kingdom. They're still surviving, which is quite surprising. I don't like that army, though. It's not the army that I'm, uh... I like right there. We've got Baleos in Issa. Yeah, you're the one who needs to get off the sh on the ship. Let's get you on. Let's drop you off and get the ships back into there. And again, we're going to just have you looking at the Liberni, seeing what's going on. There we go. Good. And then our final one in Satovia. We're probably just going to come up this way and just, you know, kind of have a little poke around here. And the Illyrians really have taken a lot of land. The Liberni as well. So to take them out, we are going to have to come and take some of these rebel settlements, which honestly I'm not I'm not unhappy about because I was going to take these anyway. And that means they've wasted good troops fighting really large garrisons because they have some decent garrisons over there. First things first though, let's get into this battle. It should be very, very easy. But, you know, with the amount of uh, javelins being thrown, we can still lose a lot of troops. So we do need to take it carefully, but let's get into it. Well, here we go, guys. We're going straight through the gate. We're going to get our hoplites in because they are going to be less susceptible to the javelins that are going to be thrown at them. So hopefully we can uh, 
you know, get our guys in here, break these guys, and then be able to get the rest of the army in that you can see is waiting outside. There we go. Fantastic. And I want to kind of use my slingers to get the Autoriati swordsmen off the town square. So we're going to get them in first as well. So you guys get in there. I'm going to bring the axemen in. And we're going to bring the spearmen in too. But only when we've beaten back the North Illyrian skirmishers. So for now, we're just going to wait and see what happens. Well, here we go, guys. We've got some Southern Illyrian skirmishers in front of us now, ready to go. So I'm going to again bring my guys in. And hopefully we can get rid of those pretty quickly. And then move on to just chucking javelins at the Altariati swordsmen in the middle so uh let's get the uh slingers though ready to fire and then we'll decide what we want to do maybe in fact though these are just yeah they're just skirmishers so yeah let's just do that let's see <laughs> come on general let's go charge them down my friend charge them down sometimes the pathing can be a little bit weird in these settlements so hopefully they path okay let's rally the men there we go Okay, that was there, General. I'm glad. <laughs> okay, that should be make everything a lot easier. Again, the General... Yeah, the Generals haven't lost anyone, actually. So, that's pretty darn good. Let's bring the Axemen this way, too. And we'll bring the Skirmishers this way. There we go. And, yeah, Spearmen. I mean, Spearmen, you can go all the way over there if you want. But I don't think you're going to play much of a part in the rest of this battle. Honestly, right, General, you can also go around that way. And we're just going to try and, you know, block them off and just chuck as many javelins into them as possible, really. So you guys get there. And then we'll get our axemen here, ready to go. There we go. Skirmishers. Yeah, we're going to have to get closer than this, aren't we? So keep going. Keep going, men. And we're going to get our skirmishers in there as well. That'll be good. And just hopefully firing into the Altariati Swordsman. So you guys fire at the Altariati Swordsman. That'll be very, very helpful for us. Kill whatever these are or break them or at least whatever. General, let's get you that way. Good. Fantastic for us. They are starting to chuck some javelins. But like I said, with the hoplites at the front, that is glorious for us. So let's get the hoplites forward. And let's get our guys forward too because i want them to fire at the swordsman not anything else and then let's bring you guys in here as well and hopefully you will be able to fire as well i think all of you are on fire at will aren't you yeah get that off you don't need that on and let's make sure you're all firing at the swordsman hopefully we can just take them down with javis you guys get there and let's hope that you will fire a, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Perfect with the slingers. I love this uh, this gameplay kind of having the hoplites in the front. Oh, my God. Look at them go. <laughs> Look at them fall. <laughs> go on, boys. The poor boys. I feel bad for them. I do feel a little bit bad for them. But, uh, yeah, they're absolutely shredded now. Keep firing, men, as they run away. Just keep firing. We're just going to chuck jabbies into all of these guys and kill them that way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was a really nice little victory, my friends. Let's get off this map. Let's uh, enslave again in here. What temple? Oh, they already have a silver mining complex in here. That's actually amazing. Let's put it down to low for now. Apparently, there is a Labeatean guy in here. And let's get rid of the slave javelin men. Let's go through... That way, are you happy? You are very happy. Very good. And also, Promona has now upgraded. Glorious. Let's build that in. Um, yeah, it is a bit of a shame that we have to leave the Labeateans alone. But that's okay. Once these units are done, we're going to gather the forces and go after them. And then I think we'll just use that army to take the rest of the settlements off the Labeateans. Because they really don't have much to offer, do they? So, let's attack these guys. And let's go with that. Let's just auto-resolve that. Yeah, 36 men is not bad at all. Let's come this way and knock them off. And then we're probably... Are we going to go for the Illyrians or the Delmate? Hmm. I think the Delmate aren't posing much of a threat right now. So might be better to just go for the Illyrians. Take those two settlements in one go. 
I don't think they've got much, have they? Yeah, nothing in Kibale. Uh, well, Celtic Spearmen, but they're not an amazing unit. They're not terrible, but they're not amazing. So, yeah, overall pretty good. Let's do our building, and let's see. Is there anything that's worthwhile again? Again, want stuff that, you know, gives us money, population growth, that sort of thing. Let's build a market in Trigurion. Ooh, Nestos, we can build a port. Absolutely, we will build that. How much money does that actually make? 331. Yes, that is exactly what we need. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, Nerona, nothing. Oh, we just skipped around there. That was weird. Narensopolis, let's build the farms because they're nice and cheap and get us some more population growth, which in turn gives us more money. Our Duba could get a silver mining complex at some point, but it's probably not worth it now. Uh, Faros, let's go for the tavern. Make your city governor a drunkard. <laughs> let's build that one in there. And then I think we'll probably have one more farm that we can uh, build. So let's go for that in Autariati Polis. Nice. Well, I think, um, I think we're good, guys. And let's end the turn one more time. And then we'll probably get towards the end of the episode. So let's end the turn and let's see what happens. Okay, the Laburni want military access. I mean, that's oh, fine because I think well, they... Oh, that's a, it's a little bit scary, though. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> hmm. Well, um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it be for now. But that does scare me somewhat. Another candidate for adoption. He's 23. He is Illyrian. Covetous. Uh, but yeah, no, he seems fine. So let's uh, let's take him. Where is he? He's in Faros. Okay, well, we're going to have to use a boat to get him off Faros. That's fine. Um, so yeah, he's got one management. Where do we want to stick him, though? We've got another settlement being besieged. Yeah, the Lobeateans. Uh Does Ryder have a governor? No. How about you? You do. I think we'll go for Eption Salona with him. There we go. And then this can be another um, sort of a garrison troop that we're going to put in somewhere. So, yeah, good. Right then. Oh, we can't actually reach Cornicum and Kibale. That's a little bit upsetting. But let's move that way anyway. I'm not going to worry about these little armies. If they want to siege down our Duba, that is no problem to me at all. Because we'll siege down the bordering uh, region before they can siege it down. And then we've got three settlements that we have to deal with for the Illyrians there in the north. And that should make us relatively rich. I am worried about the Scordisci, of course, attacking us. But for now, they are not. So we're going to find out whether they will attack us very, very soon. Let's also have a look at what we've got going on here. Um, construction Bo Butho has a... Um, has upgraded into a large town. So let's build the sewer straight away. And then I'm thinking we want to focus potentially on some military. So I think across in Pluriopolis, although one of these has like level two, right? Yeah, Daos on here. Let's also put it down to low to try and get it to upgrade quicker. Let's also get that to be an RDA iron recruitment. It is an Illyrian settlement, so we are going to be recruiting Illyrian units from it. Over here as well, we want to have a look at what we're doing in terms of upgrading the recruitment over this way. Looks all good at the moment, so let's have a look. Enderon, not really anything worthwhile. If we do not find anything worthwhile, we will... Ooh. Yeah, let's go for the silver mining complex at our Duba. Why are you on minus 4.5%? Probably just a hangover from the... Uh, besiegement but that's okay and yeah one of these let's get a sewer in pluriopolis because you're you're growing quicker than rider okay well i think we're gonna end it there guys so if you did enjoy a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated it does really help the channel out once again thank you to the channel members david pascal and zero and if you want to join the channel as a member guys you can do that down below in the description. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all again on the next video.